Generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence that can create new, original content based on a set of input data. One application of generative AI is the creation of images from text, a process known as text-to-image generation. In this script, we'll explore how text-to-image generation works and how it's being used in the real world. To begin, let's define exactly what we mean by text-to-image generation. Essentially, this refers to the process of using AI algorithms to create an image based on a given textual description. For example, if we give the AI the text a red apple sitting on a wooden table, it might generate an image of just that, a red apple on a wooden table. There are a few different approaches that AI algorithms can take when generating images from text. One approach is to use a combination of natural language processing, NLP, and computer vision techniques to understand the meaning of the text and generate an image based on that meaning. This might involve identifying specific objects or concepts mentioned in the text, such as red apple or wooden table, and using pre-trained image datasets to generate an image that incorporates those elements. Stable Diffusion is a type of text-to-image generation algorithm that was introduced in a paper published by researchers at the University of Toronto in 2021. It is based on the idea of diffusion-based image generation, which involves using a Markov chain to generate images by diffusing noise through a set of layers in a neural network. The main advantage of the stable diffusion algorithm is that it can generate high-quality images with relatively low computational cost. It achieves this by using a simple, feed-forward architecture and avoiding the use of any expensive, computationally intensive techniques such as adversarial training. Other leading text-to-image generation algorithms include GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks, which use a combination of a generator and a discriminator network to create new, realistic images, and Attention GANs, Attentional Generative Adversarial Networks, which use attention mechanisms to better capture the fine-grained details of the input text. Both of these algorithms have been used to generate impressive results in text-to-image generation tasks and are likely to continue to be important players in the field. A GAN consists of two neural networks, a generator and a discriminator, that work together to create new, realistic images. The generator network takes in a set of random noise and text input and uses that input to generate an image. The discriminator network then assesses the generated image and determines whether it looks realistic enough to be considered a real image. The two networks then go back and forth, with the generator trying to create more realistic images and the discriminator trying to identify fake ones, until the generated image is deemed realistic enough by the discriminator. So how is text-to-image generation being used in the real world? One application is in the field of art and design. For example, a designer might use a text-to-image AI tool to generate a range of design ideas based on a set of textual input. This could be a quick and efficient way to generate a large number of design concepts, which the designer could then refine and develop further. Another application is in the field of computer graphics and video game development. Text-to-image generation algorithms can be used to quickly generate a large number of game assets, such as characters, environments, and objects, based on a set of textual descriptions. This can save time and resources in the development process and allow game designers to focus on more creative tasks. One interesting example of text-to-image generation in the gaming industry is the Game Dreams, which allows players to create their own game levels using a text-to-image generation tool. Players can input a textual description of their desired game level, and the AI will generate an image based on that description. This allows players to create their own unique game levels without having to have any special design or coding skills. Text-to-image generation is also being used in the field of scientific visualization. For example, researchers might use a text-to-image AI tool to generate illustrations or diagrams based on complex scientific concepts. This can be a helpful way to communicate complex ideas to a wider audience or to generate visuals for presentations or papers. Another application of text-to-image generation is in the field of marketing and advertising. Companies might use AI-generated images to create social media posts, ads, or other marketing materials that are designed to grab the attention of their target audience. For example, a company might use a text-to-image generation tool to quickly generate a range of product images based on a set of textual descriptions. This could be a time-saving and cost-effective way to create a large number of product images for use in marketing materials. Text-to-image generation is also being used in the field of journalism. 
For example, a news organization might use an AI tool to generate images to accompany articles or news stories. This could be a useful way to quickly generate visuals to illustrate a news story or to create images for use in social media posts. Text-to-image AI could be used in the creation of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, in a few different ways. One potential use case for text-to-image AI in the creation of NFTs is the generation of unique, one-of-a-kind artworks. Using a text-to-image AI tool, an artist could input a set of textual descriptions or themes, and the AI would generate an image based on that input. The resulting image could then be turned into an NFT and sold as a unique digital artwork. Another potential use case for text-to-image AI in the creation of NFTs is the generation of game assets. For example, a game developer could use a text-to-image AI tool to quickly generate a large number of unique game characters, environments, or objects based on a set of textual descriptions. These assets could then be turned into NFTs and sold as in-game items or collectibles. Finally, text-to-image AI could be used in the creation of NFTs for marketing and advertising purposes. For example, a company could use a text-to-image AI tool to generate a range of unique product images based on a set of textual descriptions. These images could then be turned into NFTs and used in marketing campaigns or as part of a larger branding strategy. Overall, text-to-image AI has the potential to be a useful tool in the creation of NFTs, particularly in the realm of digital art, gaming, and marketing. By using AI to generate unique, one-of-a-kind images, it is possible to create NFTs that are truly unique and valuable. One potential downside to text-to-image generation is that it relies on the accuracy of the input text. If the input text is inaccurate or ambiguous, the resulting image may not accurately reflect the intended meaning. Additionally, there is the possibility that AI-generated images could be used to spread misinformation or propaganda if not properly vetted. Despite these potential drawbacks, text-to-image generation is a rapidly evolving field with a wide range of potential applications. As AI algorithms continue to improve and become more sophisticated, it's likely that we'll see more and more uses for text-to-image generation in a variety of industries. In conclusion, text-to-image generation is a powerful application of generative AI that allows users to create images based on a given set of textual input. It's being used in a range of industries, including art and design, gaming, scientific visualization, marketing and advertising, and journalism. While there are potential downsides to text-to-image generation, it is a rapidly evolving field that has the potential to revolutionize the way we create and communicate visual information.